question, are the Lions closer to a playoff team after the draft? That is the question, and I believe they are closer to making the playoffs than before the draft. Let's speak on it, and I think their chances can continue to improve. And we'll be back. Mercy Sports talking in the building. Appreciate the love and support. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Um, I do think they did. I, I like what they did in the draft. You know what? I'm not grading it. I'm not knocking it. But I think it's solid. I understand what he done. You know what I'm saying? He's seen guys he like. He believe in their talent. He evaluate them. It fit what they want to do. Get them. Hawkinson, you, you know, you probably talked to Bevel about the importance of how we're going to implement him. How he going to help in the run game. His numbers may not just, you know, be measured. Uh analytically with just by numbers but in the deep analytics what he do in the block in, in, the, in the run game what he do in the pass blocking game sometimes standing in the block so a lot of these guys i think i think the lions are closer to the playoffs and in my opinion i don't think there's a runaway winner in the nfc north i think it's gonna come down to as it always do training camp i mean health in the off season not getting arrested not getting suspended <laughs> once again health through, through mini camps, OTAs, rookie uh, mini camps, through training camp, through preseason, a lot can change. And how big a step will Trubisky take? I think it's a lot of it's a, it's, it's more about um, a lot of the developmental developmental players in the uh, NFC North, and it's about the olders, the old guys. Excuse me, kind of <clears throat> getting choked up, but you know. How much Aaron Rodgers got left? Can he can he remain healthy? How much help he gonna do? If he gonna listen to Matt Lafleur, and also you know Trubisky, is he gonna take another step? Good talent. A lot of people question his arm and, and how he fit it in there. So I think this division is for the taking. There's no dominant team here. Green Bay no longer do dominates the division like they once did. You know what I'm saying? From Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers to a point, you know uh, Minnesota they. They, they going through it with Mike Zimmer. They losing faith in the process. You know what I'm saying? And I think Kirk Cousins has shook up um, their team a little bit. So, ain't nobody fearing them. But just, you know, focuses on what we do. And in the offseason, we'll cover uh, all the all the schedules. We'll do previews closer than we get to camp in the season. But let's look at our team. Um, I think they did improve. You know, I think they improved in the offseason with Flowers. I think they improve with depth. I think they improve with versatility. I think they, and it's all about you know what do the uh, the next step Galladay make? What does Daryl Bevel help Matthew Stafford do? As far as the draft, I'm not really you never really bank on rookies coming in to make a great impact. You know you you really count on those year two to three players, years three to four players. You count on your quarterback to continue to get better. You count on Daryl Bevel coming in here and, and making the you know, making a huge difference on the philosophy of run the ball and then we run the, we run the pass. And then in, in certain games, when they stack the box, we could pass the run. And if Stafford is getting those type of windows, I think Stafford is going to be deadly. If they actually are able to run the ball and have some health in their backfield, they're able to run that ball with whatever type of running game he got going on. Hawkinson able to block. Look out for Hawkinson in the middle of the field. Look out for Galladay stretching the field. Look out for Jones and Galladay working underneath and stretching the field. I think the run game is going to be the most important key to success for the Lions. We'll talk about it a little bit tomorrow. But it's going to be the most important key for the defense and the offense. If you got a run game, you get four, four and a half, five yards of carry. It's excellent. Moving those chains. Then Stafford, you got, you know, you go back there, you drop back, you act like you hand the ball off in play action. You're going to have windows bigger than a Mack truck. And Stafford's usually trying to stick uh, balls in there that's really, really, that's really, really tight spaces. So, as far as what they've done, you know, you're hoping Davis make a step. You're hoping uh, Stereo Slay you get healthy and make and take another step into an elite top five corner. I think he's in the top 10, top 15, some people's opinion. Um, Walker, he looked like he's been working out and getting jacked. Look at Tracy Walker. Okay, you think Quadra Diggs to get healthy. Then you're looking at the improvements you get in the slot. Coleman should solidify the slot. Then you look, hopefully, Mike Ford take take a jump. Uh, hopefully, or, you know, Amani or Wakwe. Or Rashad Melvin or Tease Tabor, somebody take a jump there. Then you know you're hoping that you know you get cohesiveness along your linebacker core. Maybe Davis, uh, Jones, Devin Kennard, or is it J Jelani Tavai stick in there? You know, then across your line, that's your strength this year. Robinson, Hand, and um, Trey Flowers. You're looking at them to be able to hand can go on the outside at the end. 
you know, flowers can kick in the inside. So everything's predicated defense is on versatility and buying into the system and discipline. Discipline, you know, was a was a bad uh, bad thing for Lions last year, but they got better. They bought into the program. So I'm looking at a team defensively that should be better and will be better year two in Matt Patricia's system. And if they not better and it's anything close to the start they got last year, then it's going to be trouble. That's going to set the team back. But what can care, what can cover that deficiency up is the running game. You keep your defense fresh and keep your and keep your linemen engaged. They're not always on the back foot. People don't understand how bad that is with your linemen always treading on the back foot. Big fellas like to go forward. They like to whoop butt, kick, take butt, take a whoop butt and take names later. They like to be road graders. So if they got them big fellas going forward, I think Rick Wagner be better for it. And then you you know keep the defensive line guessing. They don't know if we running, we doing an HB draw, or they don't know if we you know passing the ball. So that'll get a lineman a lot of confidence. And that running game is really going to open up a lot of things. But learn if the Lions don't run the ball, then it's going to be a similar season to last year. No matter how good the defense is, because Matthew Stafford is not going to be able to put points up if he if he always got four four men in the box. If he don't get a or seven men in the box, if he don't get eight nine men boxes this year, then I think it's going I think it's going to be tough for him. And if they get into a a, a running game, gun type of offense this year again, where he got to drop back and he got to throw to win the game, it's not going to work. He needs some assistance. He need you know, obviously, he need Johnson, he need Anderson, he need Zinner, he need Reddick, he need the kid from Maryland to run the ball well and, and provide him that. But long story short, I think they did improve. And obviously, we talked about the video about Vegas kicking them from 80 to 1 to 66 to 1. So they believe they improved. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, and this the, the the aspect of surprise defensively, they're a hybrid team, 4-3, 3-4. You don't know. They might go to a hard 3-4. Next week, they might go to a 4-3. Or they might show you multiple looks, you know, in the game. So, they're always going to have that going for them. That's that Patriot stuff, you know. From week to week, we're going to shift our pass personnel. We got the versatility to go 3-4, three, 3 down linemen, 4 linebackers. We got the versatility to go 4 linemen, 3 linebackers. They got that type of uh, versatility. Savani can put his hand in the dirt. Davis can rush the quarterback. Savani can rush for the middle. Uh, Jones can kick inside, play the mic. Kennard can play the mic. He can rush on the outside. Um, and Flowers can play three, four, four, three defensive end. You know, uh, Snacks can play the middle and anchor the middle. Hand can play defensive end in the three, four, or four, three, and kick in and play the three technique. Got a lot of versatility up front that can keep defenses. I mean, offensive guessing. They got a game plan for you. And I'm not really p- pretty much worried about the defense. I've seen them improve week by week. This shit is going to be predicated on Matthew Stafford. And the ability, really the ability to run the ball, then Matthew Stafford. If Bevel can't make an impact on offense, this team won't make the playoffs. It, it ain't even about the draft. If Stafford can have a good, uh, he can have a really good, functional offensive coordinator that got a that got a brain or somewhat of a functional system, and they can run the ball, which Bevel has shown over the course of his career, he can run the ball. Peterson, Lynch, the whole, the whole, the rest of them as well. Then I think. I think you got some. I think they're gonna have a playoff team, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because you know Stafford's run the ball. All you gotta do is drop back 10, 20 times a game. He don't have to drop back 30, 40, 50 times a game. That increases his ability to get hurt. If he just drop back, you know, you know, 10 to 20 times a game and preserve his health, you know. And then if we ever do get behind, the beauty of it is for his whole career he spread it out, and then he he always chucked it down the field and chopped it up. So. Stafford, it'll be it'll be a blessing for Stafford to see an eight nine man box at some points in the season. It's really about Johnson being healthy, Anderson being healthy, and the ability for the line to block and bevel to get on the blueprint to really run a functional offense. So, in my opinion, if you ask me what the, what is riding on, it's riding on bevel, you know, in, in Stafford in the running game. They good, and then Matt Patricia t- defense continue to improve. Team's a playoff team. I think they got a chance to win a division as well. I know a lot of people say, oh, you kill, you stretching it. I just don't know how good Trubisky really is. I don't know the injuries. And we could suffer some injuries, and we could be uh, messed up. So, you really never know. But I think their chances did improve after the uh, draft, but their chances are really going to be predicated on making the playoffs on, on the offense. Running game, Stafford, Bevel, no particular order. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You think the Lions, um, you know, after the draft got a better chance of making the playoffs? Vegas thinks so, 80-1 to 66-1. to it's a better job, you know, better odds. But 
Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request, appreciate the love. One time.